Raphael here. I'm going to be showing you how to play a sound in Unity. It's very simple. Here's an example of it. But yeah, obviously you can choose whatever sound you want. I'm doing an explosion for this. Here we are. I've created a brand new project. Now, first things first, you're going to drag in the MP3 or whatever sound you want into the project. So let me simply put it over here. I'm going to go ahead and create an empty game object and drag in the explosion. <coughs> Make sure you untick play on awake unless you want the sound to play as soon as you open your game. But since we're playing from a bottom, simply remove that. You can tick it again if you want it to play as soon as you load the game. But that's not what I'm doing for this video. So let's head on and create a canvas. So uh, right click, go UI and uh, go to canvas. Here we're going to head over to uh, screen space camera. And in this I'm going to drag main camera all the way to render camera. Should head over to scene for this. Okay. Now we're going to head over to a canvas, right click and go to UI and select a button. What this button is going to do, it's the one, as you saw earlier, it's the one that we have to click to play the sound effects. I'm going to, here's how you can, you can go to game if you want to see how it should look like once you actually try in the, once you actually try to uh, play it. So go to text, I'm going to, in, instead of saying button, I'm going to make this say uh, play sound, just like that. And then I'm going to head over to... Um, main camera and before we can do anything else let's create a script let's go to C sharp script and then this will be called place uh, play script yeah just call it like that you can call it anything you want to but I'm gonna call it play script just to be simple head over back to main camera and go to add component search up the script you had just created double click it and it should open either Visual Studio or mono develop um, so we gotta do public um, audio source. Simply call it whatever you want. I'll call it explosion sound. We're gonna create a new um, void, and this will be public, and this will be set to play sound effect. All right, and now we can take what you called your explosion uh, audio source. I'm gonna do explosion sound dot um, play, and that's all we have to do for the code. Now, simply leave that on here. Cause we might have to change something up, but I don't think we will. Go back to your button that you created underneath your canvas. Um, go to this little plus symbol over here, and we are going to click on this circle, and this whole um thing should pop up. I'm gonna search for um go to scene and search for main camera. You can also drag in main camera if you want to, but I, since I already have it in, I don't have to do it again. Okay, so let's go to explosion sound and find your game object. Oops. Go back to main camera, drag in your game object into explosion sound. And the last thing we need to do is go back to bottom. Go to, okay, since we have already dragged in main camera, go to the no function, click on that. Now you'll find the script we had created earlier. Um, simply open that up with an arrow and find whatever you called your uh, method, your void. That was play sound effect in my case. Which, let me bring up Visual Studio. Since we chose play sound effect, which matches the title for this. And that should play the explosion. So to start the game, simply click the start button in your controls. Your play button. Now let's try it. It'll be quite loud, so I'll, I'll stop it immediately afterwards. Yeah, so sorry for the jump scare, but yeah, that's simply how you play a sound effect. You can do whatever sound you wish to, so what I chose the explosion just... Um, I didn't expect it to be that loud, but yeah. That's simply how... You can also do it as well if you want to, like, touch the screen, or if you want to, like, do a collision. So let's say you want to do a collision. Simply do public well actually on collision enter 2d and simply put this 
explosion play, you can put that here as well. That is if you want this to collide with other um, players or any other object. So this to simply collide with others, play the sound. Alright, so that is only if you want it to collide, that's on collision enter. This is the method we run for when we click on the button to play the sound effects. They each have the same command, just in different um, methods. So thank you very much for watching, that's simply how you play a sound effect, it's really simple. Um, if you have any questions or if you find any errors while doing this, simply comment down below. I will see you guys in the next programming video. Peace out.